Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Russ with RWGResearch.com. Welcome to the closet. The closet? The closet laboratory. You gotta do what you gotta do where you gotta do it. So, this video is about problems I'm having with jamming in a totally weird way that you've probably never really seen before. And it happens to be because we're printing these crazy QSNs. Of course, if you haven't seen this, I'll link it in the description, but I'm sure you have by now. Um, and I'm using the good light for live streaming. So if you guys have not ever seen the live stream, there it is, 3D printing live. Go check it out. I do uh, some of my drawings over there as well when I'm doing Fusion 360. Uh, but that's why the light's so terrible. So here's what I'm going to present to you right now. When printing one of these crazy QSNs, you have just so many retractions. Like a crazy amount, which I'll show you a little clip right now and listen to how many retractions are going on. Okay, so as you can tell, it's a crazy amount of retractions. And what happens is, is the filament actually starts, you know, or the the extruder gear, in my case I made my gear, my own gear, so it's pretty sharp, and it digs into the filament. So I'm going to get you some really good close-ups of this, but for now, I just want you to kind of see the filament. So I'm using this green Matter Hackers PLA, and I also have some red translucent Matter Hackers PLA. This is the Pro Series stuff, and I've been having great luck with it. It's really good plastic so far. Um, and what I was actually having troubles with is on, on my extruder setup, you can see there's a six inch piece of Teflon tubing. And this Teflon tubing, if it's made to the correct tolerance, which is exactly two millimeter on the inside diameter, four millimeter on the outside diameter, when you have all these retractions, you get these little notches in your plastic from the extruder motor gear digging into this thing constantly up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down, and it digs a little pit into your filament. And if your filament is really soft, you could just chew away that and it would be very bad. If your filament's really hard, it won't really damage it at all. And PLA is sort of in the middle where it's it's hard, but not extremely hard. And so what happens is, is you create these ridges. And what's really crazy is that these ridges, if your PTFE liner, okay, is really tight tolerance, it actually sticks in there. And these ridges, all right, let's see if I can actually get a close up. You see those, you can totally see the ridges sticking out of the top, okay? Those ridges, all right, see them? Those ridges stick out so far that the filament wouldn't even go through the tube. Like right here, I can barely, I can barely push that through there. And it, it's, it almost, you know, I mean, look at it. That should slide through there and I can barely pull it back out. So what was happening is the filament was jamming in between, <laughs> just running down this tube in between the extruder motor and the hot end, which was crazy. Um, that I've never seen before, and I think because the other te uh, Teflon tubing that I've used before is big enough that if this happens, it doesn't matter. Or I already stretched it out by pulling out a piece of plastic like this, which has a bulge on the end and stretching it out. So now what I'm going to do is teach you how to stretch this out without damaging it, okay? All right, so here's what I would do. Okay, I have some PLA here, and I don't recommend using PLA or ABS or anything that can break to do this. Try using something else. Now, if you don't have what I'm going to show you, which is a piece of nylon, the other alternative is maybe you can find a piece of weed whacker string that you have laying around that is smaller diameter than what your Teflon tubing is. So what I did is I took a lighter and I just melted 
the end and I made a bulge on there. See how it's bulged out? So what I actually did was just make a bigger diameter than what the filament is. And then I can slip this inside of the Teflon tubing. All right, so this side fits really well. But if I were to try to put this in there, it won't go. It's way too big. So what I did was just put this in here and then pulled it through the Teflon tubing. And as it went through there, it stretched out the Teflon tubing. Now, it stretches it out just a tiny little bit, so make sure your bulge isn't too big or you won't be able to pull it through there. I actually pulled it through there while it was on this with no problems, okay? You may not be able to do that, but that is what I did. So, that's how I fixed this problem. Now, this is a really bizarre problem, and I don't know, I mean, normally you don't have this kind of retraction and you don't have a, you know, if, if, you're, if your extruder motor gear, your hobbed gear, isn't as aggressive as what mine is, maybe you're, you know, it doesn't really matter, but mine's kind of aggressive and it actually pushed out the filament and it was jamming and I it took me a while to kind of figure out what the heck is going on because when I took the extruder motor apart and tried to pull it out I couldn't even pull it out so that's when I realized okay it's not a forcing problem it's a pulling problem as well so that means something's jamming in here um, so anyway that's just a little tip and hopefully this is helpful let me know down in the comments uh, what you guys' thoughts are if you've ever come across this let me know because it's a really bizarre problem but it's something that if you guys are going to take on my challenge and actually try printing these little guys, you might run into this problem. So, something to think about. By the way, share uh, these videos if you don't mind. Uh, I usually don't ever say that, but it really is beneficial when you guys share these and like these and put them in playlists and stuff. It's, it's beneficial. So if you have like a tips and tricks playlist, throw it in there. Or just whatever. Um, but it is helpful for the channel. So anyway, peace and love. God bless you guys. Have a good day. And I'll see you later. Haha, <laughs> I'm back. <laughs>